Hello GW soldiers I hope all of you are doing really really great now that your gate is over you might have got an idea of what type of rank you will get what type of score you will get and what you can get with this score some of you might get into PSUs but a lot of you might be getting the option to get into IITs or NITs for MTech or MS and you might be a little confused whether to join IITs for MTech or uh, MS or not. So this video might help you to find whether you should go for MTech or not. I will put a few points uh, in front of you so that it will help you to decide whether this is the right choice for you or not. I myself got a good rank in gate 2010 and I had an option whether to go for IOCL. I got a call from IOCL at that time. IOCL was the first PSU to recruit through gate. But I never went for the interview because I always wanted to join IIT uh, for MTech and I got into IIT Khadakpur. I did my MTech from design and then I got placed from there in Mahindra and Mahindra. So my reasons were different. Maybe your difference might be different. I will put some points in front of you. It will help you to decide whether this is the right option for you or not. So let's talk about the benefits of getting into IITs or NITs for MTech or MS. The first and the foremost thing which is the most important thing for most of you is the job. You might be thinking whether you will be able to get a better job after your MTech. Some of you might have been placed in your BTech or BE from your college. But if you get a good chance, if you get a chance to get into top IITs or NITs and do MTech from uh, core branches, then I would suggest you take that option. First thing, there is a misconception that the placement statistics of all these IITs or NITs are not good for MTech. Let me tell you that in some IITs and NITs, the placement is even more than 90% and the kind of package you will get there it's not possible after your undergrad after your B or BTech. So this is the best option if you want to get a good package and it's not only about the package even the job profile. When you complete your engineering when you complete your graduation and you get into these companies the job profile that you might get is not that suitable for you. It's not uh, that interesting for you compared to the kind of job profile you will get after MTech. Let me give you an example of myself. Mahindra and Mahindra used to take students from graduation from BE, BTech as well as ME, MTech. But the kind of job profile the people from MTech used to get were very, very different. I got into research, I got into a department called CAE where my job was to analyze the uh, design components and it was a really, really interesting job profile. I really liked my job, although I was more oriented towards teaching, so I left my job and I started teaching, but that job profile was really interesting. So. The job profile also matters a lot after your ME and MTech, the kind of job profile you might get is completely different than your BE and BTech. So this is the very important thing to decide. This is a factor that you should really, really consider before opting for whether to go for PSUs or whether to go for IITs for MTech or MS. Second thing, you get better career options in research field. Some of you might be interested in doing PhD. Some of you might be thinking whether to go for PhD or not because there is a misconception that after PhD, you, the only type of job that you might get is teaching. That is not at all true. A lot of my friends got into the universities in US, universities in Germany for PhD and after completing PhD, they got into corporate world, they got really nice package, they got really nice job profile. So it's not necessary that if you get into research, you will only get teaching jobs. No, you will get very good packages in these companies which take you after your BE, BTech or ME, MTech. 
PhD students are also placed and their place uh, their placement statistic their placement records is also enough uh, it's also decent your the, your pay package is also good your job profile is also very interesting so there is a very good opportunity in research field after your MEM tech from IIT you will you might get into foreign universities for your research so uh, for the three four years you will live there you will get a very good a very handsome stipend and after that they even absorb there are some companies which absorb the research scholars so this is a very interesting job profile you might get then after that if you are interested in teaching then this is a very good option for you there are a few people who are really interested in teaching considering the kind of uh, uh, ed education system we have built here after corona a lot of people want to come to teaching field so if you are interested in teaching then also this is a very good option for you after you are com completing your mtech you can get into phd and after phd you have a lot of options to choose from if you are interested in teaching the next thing is the environment that you get see if you want to really really enjoy a student life there is nothing better than getting into iits or nits when i got into iit kharagpur the kind of environment i got there it was unimaginable the kind of students that study there their mindset the thoughts they have the career plans they have when you talk to them it really inspires you it really motivates you to do better in your life so when i went there and when i talked to all my friends there then i uh, got into thinking what i want to do in my life and then only i was clear that i always wanted to teach and this is what i am going to do for the next 20 to 30 years of my life so even though i was placed in mahindra and mahindra I still left my job after two years and I got into teaching field and now I am really really happy that I made that choice and this was all possible because of the environment I got at IIT my mind was very clear I was very sure that this is what I want to do so if you also want to experience that if you want to interact with the brilliant minds of India if you want to study under the brilliant professors of India then this is what you should do get into iits or nits for mtech and if you get the iit tag then you are set for life wherever you go you will get that respect that you deserve so beta this is a very very important thing and it's not a small thing it's a big factor when you decide to get into iits for mtech i have seen a few students who got really good rank in gate and they could get into PSUs but they chose to get into IITs there was a friend of mine who was with me at IIT who got AIR 29 but he refused to get into PSUs there are some of my students who got under 100 rank but they still chose to get into IIC Bangalore IIT Bombay IIT Kharagpur IIT Kanpur why because they wanted that tag for themselves because they wanted that respect they will get after they clear their mtech so if that is what you are achieve, that is what you are aiming for then beta this is also a big factor in deciding whether you want to get into mtech or not so overall i want to conclude by saying that it's not at all a bad option there are a few people who will get the option to get into psus or to get into iits then also i would suggest that keep all these factors in mind the type of job profile you want for you, the type of pa pay package you want for you, the type of uh, environment you want for you, what is your priority? You can get into IITs, even if you leave PSUs, you will not regret it. And there are a few students who will not get a chance to get into PSUs, so they own the only option they have is this. And then they want to decide whether to take drop and give one more try to get into PSUs or whether they should enroll themselves into IITs or NITs so beta this these factors will help you to decide that now one more thing I want to say is a lot of students will also think of getting into these colleges and then simultaneously prepare for gate so that they can improve their rank and next year they might get PSUs but if you are not sure to complete your MTech please don't take that chance 
if you are not sure don't waste seats for other students this is what i suggest to all of you this is what i appeal for uh, from all of you that you are not sure that you want to do mtech you want to do ms you want to do phd don't get into these colleges and don't waste your uh, career don't waste your seats just prepare for one more year give one more try and then next year you go to psus but if you are clear that yes i want to do mtech i want to get into iits then beta this is a very good opportunity for you thank you so much for watching